Assalamu alaikum everyone. Just gonna wait for you all to come on live because I'm here to talk to you about the new book, Let It Go, mashallah. We dropped all the information about it this week. Let me know in the comments if you guys have already got this book or if you have ordered this book, mashallah. I am hoping inshallah that my co-author uh, my brother from Zimbabwe, Mufti Meng, will be joining me on this live. I went on to his live and I requested to join, but he did not see it because everyone was throwing hearts and throwing hands and throwing mashallahs. So he didn't get to see my request. So I hope, inshallah, he will be able to come on here. Uh, as he does send me a request, I promise that I will accept his request, but we did agree that today we're going to come together to just talk a little bit about uh, this book and how it came about. So if you guys have seen it, that's the title, Let It Go, Learning the Lesson of Forgiveness. And subhanAllah, the, the, let me just tell you a little bit about the background of this book. So I, you guys know, I write uh, books for children. I've written many, many books for children. And alhamdulillah, you know, those books just like this one are available worldwide, uh, you know, through Q Publishing, through Dar es Salaam, through their distributors and their stockists, and of course on Amazon. So um, the, I, I have a firm belief that children's literature makes a difference to children's lives. And it really, uh, it, it really affects the adults that they become. So um, I, I have a big thing about really making sure that the books that we give our children are good quality and have amazing lessons for them to learn, that they are um, you know, exactly as interesting, as absorbing, as engaging as they can be, because children are impacted by those early messages that they receive. So um, I have a belief that for any one of us that has a, oh, thank you. I have a, a child development expert here who is telling me that I am correct. So alhamdulillah for that. But the point for me is, um, I feel like every single person who is out here in the world trying to make a difference, trying to impact, you know, the people around them, I believe that most of us have something very important to say to the next generation, okay? Yes, Mufti is in the house. And I promise if he sends me a request to join, then I will say yes, I will let him come on the call. So, because I have this belief that he has something to offer the world, and if you have something, a um, message that is important, something that should be heard, out there in the world and I believe there is and there could be and there should be a way to get that message to the next generation through children's books okay such is the power of children's books and so when I had this idea and I thought to myself hmm you know let me let you know I think that we should speaking to some of the people in our community who are currently who are currently you know working with adults working with mashallah <laughs> How are you? How are you, sister? You're well. And, alhamdulillah, I'm very well. I was just telling everybody that I came onto your live. I sent a request to join, but I think everybody was going too crazy and the chat was going too crazy. I don't think you saw my request, subhanAllah. Okay, so I can just quickly let you know that I work a little bit differently. Uh, I don't see any requests because there are too many. So you have to comment to say, please, can I join? When I see your name and your comment, I will click on you and I will then request you to join. So that's ah. how mine will. Simply because it's so difficult to, yeah. to look, you know, to multitask. They say women can do it, men cannot do it that well. So that's why you're here on my live and I wasn't available on your live. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you. May Allah um, bless you. Yeah. So I'm just telling everybody, you know, the, the, how this whole thing came about. And um, I was saying that, I believe that there are so many people in the world right now who are making a difference, mashallah, who can, who have a message for children, who have a message for the next generation. Uh, and so, you know, I, I was, you know, I want to tell them the story of how, you know, this book came about. Have you got your copy with you? Yay! Screenshot that. Yes, mashallah. So, subhanallah, there's just so much uh, to say about this. But what happened, Mufti, when I came to you and I said, look, You've got all this content, mashallah. You know, there's a book, the motivational moment, motivational moments with Mufti Mank, isn't it? 
and all the tweets and all the quotes and everything. How about I work with those quotes, work with you know, your teachings, if you like, and create something for the next generation so that we can translate your message to the next generation. What did you think when I first asked you that? Did you think I was crazy or what, what, what came to your mind? Not at all. I knew if anyone can do it, it would be you because uh, I've known you for years on end and subhanAllah, you produced some really marvelous work for uh, those who are slightly older and this being the first one for children, I knew it would be good. And what I liked about it is I felt, may Allah bless all of us, I felt the genuineness uh, to serve our children because uh, if you recall, the little discussion we had was also about, and we can share it with the brothers and sisters, how at a very early age our children are being bombarded with so much, but it's not necessarily the right thing. So in order for us to be able to catch them at the right time, telling them, look, these things are going to happen, but in a sweet way, to let them know how do I process this type of uh, thing that happens in my life. So Alhamdulillah, I, I didn't think you were crazy at all, but I was just making dua that it comes out, you know, better than we expect and so on. And you know what? The day it actually did, I was so, so thankful to Allah that we even, uh, you know, embarked on the whole uh, idea of getting the book done. And mashallah, look, look what Allah's done. Mashallah, tabarak, alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah. And guys, I just want to let you know, you know, obviously, um, those of you who know, I always call Mufti like my homeboy because we're from the same country. We're from Zimbabwe. And, uh, and you know, you've been a supporter of, of, of my work for, for many, many years, mashallah, and a family friend. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful to you for trusting me with, with your words, you know, because um, it's, it's not a small thing. Um, and obviously, when I started writing, I didn't, know, I didn't know how I was going to do it. So for those of you who want to know how it came about, I read uh, Mufti Meng's book, uh, The Motivational Moments, and I read through all the quotes, and I took the ones that I thought, this could work for children, because some of them, of course, are too complicated and, you know, they're not relevant for children. But I took all the quotes that I could find that I thought would be relevant, and then I, I kind of split them up. So there was quotes on forgiveness, quotes on sincerity, kindness. The next book's coming, inshallah. But um, I, I, I got the quotes and then I, I read the quotes and I sat with them. And I, and I sat with them and I tried to think, well, you know, how would a child process this? You know, what is it that a child, for example, needs to forgive people for? You know, because children's worlds are complicated in themselves. You know, they, they have this whole complex life of their own. And, and I never intended to write a story and I never intended to make it rhyme. But when I actually, after reading the work and sitting with it, I sat down and literally the story just came by itself. Allah, Allahu Akbar. I did very little work on it. It literally was I, the first part. Can you, can you read the first part for, for, the, uh, for the people who read this one here? MashaAllah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Here goes where it says, Life isn't always easy, even when you're small. You may feel angry or hurt or sad. We're only human after all. So that's the first paragraph. Mashallah, look at how it rhymes. And like you said, you know, the first thing that happens is we're trying to tell the child that we're just human beings. So funny, today in Jumu'ah, I was telling people not to be too hard on themselves. You're just human beings, you know. Yeah. As much as you want to do so much in the first 10 days of the Hijjah, you're just a human. Do your best. Yeah. So then... Then if I can read on. Yes. But if you can be just like a tree, firmly rooted in your faith, and always turn to the Almighty with every trial you face, there goes. So you find the faith, the face, mashallah, the tree and the Almighty, mashallah, there it rhymed again. And uh, the meaning is still quite, you know, it's very solid. You will go through life with a hopeful heart, aware of all you do to be forgiving patient, sincere and kind. That's my dua for you. So it's, it already gives you the gist of what's going to be in the book. Yeah. And then what, what is to follow is the practicals. You know, yeah. this is just the, the, the theme encapsulated in, a, in, in the first message. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Exactly. Alhamdulillah. And then basically, guys, if you've seen the book, you'll see that there's a little boy who, you know, he starts off his day really happy. We won't read it here because we're, we're planning to do a video, inshallah. But you'll see he starts his day really, really happy. He's looking forward to everything that the day brings. But 
in each interaction he has, something happens. Something happens upsetting. In the, in the first case, you know, his sister eats the last piece of toast, for example. You know, and then when he's at school, you know, the kids leave him out. Uh, and, and of course, you know, then the, the other boy ruins his ball by throwing it in the street and then the car <laughs> drives over it. So really simple things that children face that, you know, that are, are very big in their world, you know. And um, I, I really like, uh, you know, when I was reading through your quotes, you have, mashallah, a very calming way. It's a very soothing way of giving da'wah in the sense that it's like, it's okay, you know, it's, it's okay, you'll get through it. Like, let it go, you know, like, don't, don't be so hard. You know, that kind of thing. I, for me, that, for me, Mufti, that, of, that is the deen. And that's certainly like your way of, of, of being. Of course, I mean, all of us have a different way, but that's really your way of being. And, uh, you know, the little boy, obviously, he doesn't let it go. And he's, he's angry and he's holding on to it. And I just, I love the, um, you see this here. Did you notice the, this, this bag that he's carrying around? Did you notice that it keeps getting bigger and bigger as he gets more and more angry and he's holding all these grudges and he's holding on to all this anger that he has? Um, those of you who read the book, please look through and see what happens to that red bag because the artist, she just killed it. I love it. What did you think of the of the, the rest of the story, Mufti? Well, it's amazing because it gives you the, the alternatives. There are two things that he can do, and he keeps doing the wrong thing, and he he faces the, yeah. the, the result or the, the outcome of his own choice. And uh, yes, you might not be able to control what someone else did, but you can always control how you perceive it. And yeah. that was the method that came across loud and clear. And, and then what I also like is at the bottom, you know, either a parent or a teacher or even a child who can understand is asked a question to say, how do you feel when you get left out? For example, there's a question. That question can be interactive for, for example, a kindergarten or other children. And they can ask, be asked the question and you can actually spend 20 minutes on that uh, with different children, each one spending two, three minutes telling you what they feel. Yeah. And uh, it's very good to let them speak out what's affecting them because obviously these are just examples. It's not exactly what's going to happen to everyone, but they can be given the opportunity to speak about what has bothered them as well, yeah. which is yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. And another thing as well, I think you'll see at the end of the book is, you know, that it's so important, even as adults, some of us are not in touch with our emotions. So we may feel bad, but we don't understand. What is this? Is this sadness? Is this bitterness? Is this disappointment? Is it frustration? You know, am I, am I hurt right now? So I, I was excited about the, the, the opportunity to teach children how to even name their emotions. Because once you name something, this is all psychology, guys. This is like all, you know, uh, pedagogy and child psychology and everything is thrown in there. But... If you're a parent, you must, you probably, you know, have seen how children can become so emotional and not know how to process the emotions. So I, you know, I was, I was, yeah, I'm really, really, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that, that we are able to, inshallah, open up these conversations. Yeah. I think one, one important factor that I mentioned a little bit earlier on my live when I told everyone to come this side was that, you know, these are the ABC, these are the problems that a lot of children face. I do know and you do know and we all do know that there will be some who will face issues that are not so common but uh, very important for us to address as well. If, if there has been abuse of a certain level, we're not saying just let it go. You know, no. it depends. Yes, it depends what it is. You, you will tell from the examples that this is a general piece of advice addressing the bulk of the issues that are there. And there will be specialized advice at a certain point for those who, who have gone through something or who may go through something that is absolutely unacceptable, you know, if it comes to abuse and various other things. So that's a quick point of clarification to say, nobody must think that we're just teaching to let everything go. All okay. we're doing is to try and guide the children to actually uh, filter through what's happening to them in the correct way. Channel it. That's all. Yeah, and I think I think I, I agree with you, and I think that there's there's so much um, scope 
really for, for more books like this, where we can empower our children to be mindful of Allah, you know, to choose to be the better version of themselves, you know, to choose to forgive, to choose to be the change they want to see in the world, to be able to set boundaries, even as you're saying, to do with, you know, abuse and things like that. So I, I, that's one of the reasons why I just think children's books are so, so, so powerful. Because through a story, through a rhyme, through something that seems so simple, but as you guys can see, as we're breaking it down, there's a lot of thought that goes on behind it. It may read like a simple story, but actually there's a lot. And inshallah, inshallah, our children will get the benefit from that. In fact, I believe that adults will benefit from this too. And the reason I say this is I gave it to a friend of mine to look through and he said, wow, it's helped me process things and look at this. And I'm thinking, subhanAllah, sometimes adults too need this message. We have too much baggage. Ask yourself, is it necessary or unnecessary? And take you from what we've said here, inshallah. Yeah, exactly. And inshallah, if parents are buying the book to read with their children, I pray that it's a source of solace and comfort for you as well. And maybe a reminder um, that you will benefit from in your own life as an adult. So, so far, the response has been that parents are loving the book, mashallah, tabarakallah. They're enjoying reading it with their kids. The kids are asking for it every night. And this is by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I don't take any credit at all because it's Allah who inspires, you know? Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. And I also think that if we can, uh, it, it, those who have the book, inshallah, if we read it for our children uh, regularly, regularly meaning say once in a few months or so, with the idea of engaging them with the questions that are there, we would have them take off their chests or get off their chests a lot. So uh, children find it difficult sometimes to say things because they don't know how it will be processed by the adults. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have people who confide in me and they haven't confided in their own parents. And that goes to show that perhaps they don't know how the parent might react. So if the parent is actually asking them that, you know, what would you do if something like this happened to you and you just get them to talk? Wallahi, it's very, very empowering for them. Many people blame the Muslims, they blame the scholars and the religious people to say, you guys don't really deal with these things. Well, here we are. We've actually dealt with it and we're dealing with it. And mashallah, thanks so much to you and uh, you know, to the team that actually put this together. And oh, gratitude goes to Allah firstly, but at the same time, we must be thankful to those who made it happen. Subhanallah. Yeah, yeah it's, definitely. It's really yeah, no, definitely the, uh, the team at Q Publishers, they you know, they, they believed in us, they believed in our idea, you know, they, they, they were on board and they got a lovely illustrator to come on board and, you know, take it away. So guys, you know, this is, uh, this is our first collaboration, our first official collaboration, may Allah allow us to continue to always work together purely for his sake, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to be a source of khair in the ummah. This, this ummah is, is so special and so blessed. And personally, I feel so blessed to know people like you and so many others that, you know, we, we work together for the sake of Allah, you know, to benefit the Muslim, benefit the next generation. And as long as people are prepared to do that, we'll be okay, inshallah, you know? Inshallah, yeah. You know, a very interesting point that I thought of now is uh, what you were saying earlier, that you have a soft approach. And I believe that everyone serving the deen has... has their own character, their own conduct, their yeah. own method of speaking to people. And each one has a different nature. So we need to cherish the nature of the people. People tell me, why don't you, sh why don't you talk about this and about that? You know, I am not, I, I'm not sort of, uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm not aggressive by nature. I'm, I'm, I'm a passive person in the sense that I like to speak to people with a lot of respect, even if they have disrespected me. It's just me. I like to reach out to people with a softer message. I'm not saying a harder message is wrong. Yeah. But I'm saying it's an approach that would, that would also be needed in the dawah. It would have an effect and an impact on a different crowd of people. So, uh, you know, people sometimes don't let me go. They say, you haven't done this and that. And I say, relax, man. It's just not me. That so we need to... I let it go. I say, I let it go. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. 100% let it go. 
um, I just, you know, I hope that you guys will all get the book, inshallah. It's obviously, as we are so grateful, it's doing, it's the number one bestseller since yesterday on Amazon. Do follow the link in our bios, um, on, the, on Mufti's bio, on my bio. Please, everyone, I think, Mufti, you asked people on your live, and I will ask people here as well to please leave reviews on Amazon. We want this book available in all the languages, guys. All the languages. Thank you. Inshallah. Arabic. Let's and, speak. Uh, what do we want? We want Arabic, inshallah. Let's speak in Arabic, um, Malay, uh, French. What else? Russian, Turkish. Yes. Spanish. Yes. Yeah. This French. Is yeah. yeah. Spanish. Yes. It, That's right. it, it will so, happen. It will happen. Inshallah. Be in Allah. Allah. Allah will be. Amen. So, so in, perhaps, so Sister Rima, in, yes. in a day or two, perhaps, if you can join me on, on, on my Instagram, it would also be beneficial in a day or two. And also, just a quick word, when you're saving this, Instagram has changed a little bit. When you're saving this, please, can you save the video? And when you're uploading it, make sure that as you're, as you're uploading it onto your IGTV, it says there, uh, show the preview. And you must click yes. For the preview. If you don't think yes for the preview, it be on your page. Yeah, yeah. No, alhamdulillah, I always do that, mashallah. I know that you are the social media sheikh who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> teaching us all these things. But please, guys, just, if you're not sure where to get the book from, just ask your local Islamic bookseller. Inshallah, they will order it. They know where to get it from. It's by Cube Publishing. Anywhere you go, it, Dar es Salaam, Cube, all if they, they have. It, it's available all over the world. Please, if you are looking for it, just ask your normal Islamic bookshop and tell them about the book and just tell them, you know, to order it and to bring it to wherever you are in the world. We are here. We're at your service, inshallah. But Sheikh, Jazakallah khairan for your time. I appreciate Absolutely. it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Jazakallah khairan. Subhanakallah. Wassalamu alaikum.